here we have Waterbound one more time. Uh, this time I just want to show a little bit of the, the way the chords are layered in on this thing. Um, it's taken me about five years to actually figure out that this thing is in a sawmill tuning with a drop, a lowered uh, fifth string. Um, Dirk is playing with the, the guys in Glasgow in E. So that means right now we have it at first string is C sharp, second string is B, third string is F sharp, uh, fourth string is C sharp again, and instead of being up here at the F sharp for the high string, it's brought down to the F note, or E note. So they're actually playing in the key of E. The cool thing about this tuning is there are a lot of uh, chords uh, that are sort of simply found. And maybe before I go through the piece, I'll just show you those chords uh, sort of quickly. So w when you're talking about music, you have like uh, a tonic, a subdominant, and a dominant. We don't have to get too complicated about this, but you have three main chords that are in every, every piece. Uh, so the, it's in the key of E, so the tonic is E. And uh, the reason you go with the word tonic instead of saying the key, or one, four, five, what people do, uh, is it just makes it easier to talk about the intervals between the pieces instead of talking about what key you're in. So anyway, sort of the chord of the song, it's in E. So that's uh, ring finger, first fret, third fret, uh, third third fret, yeah. First string, third fret, uh, let's see, index finger, sec uh, third string, second fret, and middle finger all the way over on the fourth string, again at the third fret. For people that play guitar at all, this feels a lot like uh, a guitar G chord. So then you move over these two strings very easily over one string. Now the uh, ring is on the first still, first string, third fret. The index finger is on the second string, second fret. And the middle finger is now on the third uh, string, third fret. That's the subdominant, or four. The dominant, or five, is ring finger on the second fret and the middle finger uh, all the way over on the third fourth fret at the second string. From that, the relative minor, or if you're in the key of E, the, the minor that is a, a relative of that is just bringing in your ring finger to the second string, second fret, and your middle third string, second fret. So the cool thing that Dirk is doing is it he has this sort of question mark on whether you want to have that subdominant four or the relative minor. Let me show you both with, so you have this note on the fourth string open. Well, if you add a subdominant to that, you get, you get a nice warm chord. If you take off the ring finger, it's a little bit more serious, which is kind of cool for waterbound. So, oh yeah, so we got, and then from this bass note, if we go to the relative minor, so there's a lot of that going on all the way through the, the piece. So we have the tonic, subdominant, tonic again, that's actually a dominant, 
relative minor. sent me a note saying he was learning the piece and I just felt bad that I didn't have a version on that showed going up to that subdominant form. Thanks everybody. All the best. <laughs>